In tonight's Health Watch, more than 850,000 Americans go to the hospital every year with irregular heartbeats, which are also called arrhythmia. But depending on the condition, cases can not only be treatable, often curable. And as KPTV's Wayne Garcia shows us, the doctors at Southwest Washington Medical Center are getting people back in the game one procedure at a time. For several years, I had com been complaining of uh, all of a sudden getting rapid heart rates. Paula Knight spent years wondering why her heart felt like it was going to jump out of her chest, but she could never get an answer. Every time I would come in to see my family physician, the EKGs were all normal. I even wore a heart, heart monitor for a month and it never happened, so they were never able to get a read on it. As time wore on, she noticed the rapid heart rate was hitting more frequently and getting worse. So she took action and just in time. My son took me to the ER and I collapsed on the floor in the ER, but they still weren't able to determine what the problem was, but they said you have to see a cardiologist. That led her to Dr. Robert Swenson, a cardiologist at the Vancouver Clinic at Southwest Washington Medical Center. Dr. Swenson put a heart monitor on her and within a week identified the problem. She was one of the 10% that have uh, a congenital extra connection between the top and the bottom of the heart. So. She was a little bit special in that regard. It's a condition called Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome. And the good news for Paula is that it can be cured. Dr. Swenson used catheter ablation therapy to remove that extra connection that was disrupting the timing of the electrical signals through her heart. The little electrical fibers most often run just under the inside surface of the heart. So we can set the catheter adjacent to that area, apply a small amount of heat, just into that one very localized region and safely knock out those short-circuiting fibers. There's actually incisions in around your femoral arteries and they thread some tiny needles up into your heart and your heart has to cooperate. They basically, I believe, shot me up with some kind of adrenaline to try to get my heart to do what was wrong and it cooperated. It, 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 happened and Dr. Swenson was able to fix it. A few hours in the hospital and Paula was cured. I think I came back a week or so, maybe less later for my post-op and then to hear Dr. Swenson say, well, I don't need to see you anymore. It's done. It's over with. You will never get this again. And that was, that made me very happy. Not only did the procedure help fix Paula's racing heart, it also helped her get in the race just weeks afterward. Wayne Garcia, the 5 o'clock news. Now some of the symptoms that can go along with irregular heartbeats include blackout spells, feelings of lightheadedness, dizziness, or shortness of breath. Go to kptv.com slash swhealth to learn more about irregular heartbeats and heart flutters. You can also take the Your Health, Your Vote poll on the topic there.